Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Woodpecker's Deep Dive. My name's Jeff Ferris. Welcome to the Woodpecker's Model Shop. Today, we're gonna to take a closer look at Woodpecker's DP Pro Drill Press Table System. The fence, the table, and the drawer base. We're gonna take a look at all the components and we're gonna answer some questions that we've heard on social media and on our customer service line. All right, let's get started. Now, the first thing I wanna do is maybe clear up some confusion about the sizes of the tables and the sizes of the fences. This is our 36 inch table, but if I take a tape on it, it's only 24 inches wide. It's 36 when we expand the tables and pull out the extensions. Now, that's a full 36. Now the fences are actually modeled on their exact length. So this is the 24 inch fence. And you can see it matches the 36 inch table when it's collapsed. If you want a longer fence that matches it when it's fully extended, then you want a 36, 36. Now your 36 inch fence is the length of the extended table. This is a 36, 36. This is a 36, 24. Same thing with our 48 inch table. The 48 inch table is 36 collapsed and you can match it up with either the 36 inch fence or the 48 inch fence. Now in one of the deep dives that we did a few months ago on the DP Pro, I showed you a little trick about calibrating the scale to your drill bit. And what we did was set this up at the zero point and then set the fence at the same measurement on both of the lateral scales. And then to make sure I could repeat that, I put a mark with a pencil right at the edge of the groove. Well, everybody here thought that was such a good idea that it's now laser engraved on the scale. So all you have to do to make your scale accurate is put that mark right on the edge of the groove and keep your fence straight across. So I'm at one inch here, one inch here, my mark right on the line. All right, let's see how accurate that is. I'm gonna set this for six inches to the stop. And we'll bring a piece of stock up against the stop. And I'm just going to barely touch that with the point of a brad point bit. Let's check it out. There's a rule set with a stop at six inches and it is exactly on the point. Now, while we're talking about the stops, let's take a closer look at them because I learned something this week about the stops I didn't know. The stops are designed to be used this way not this way. So you can see that I've got this one set up with the flag on the right side of the stop and I have this one set up with the flag on the left side of the stop. That way I can come against this on this side, come against this side when I'm on the right side of the fence and I'm always pushing against the side of the flag opposite the clamping block. And that way I never get any movement on my stop. Now, if you need to change from one side to the other, like let's say you want both stops on one side, I'll show you how to flip it around. We're gonna slide the stop out of the track and I'm gonna take an eighth inch Allen wrench and I'm going to take the flag off. Now, all I have to do is turn that around and put the screw back in. And now I can have two stops on the same side. Now the DP Pro fence isn't just for the DP Pro table. You can put it on just about any table. Let's go over to my antique drill press. So on this drill press, I have an original Woodpecker's drill press table. And I put this one on my drill press because it's a bench top and it's old and it's got a fairly short column on it. So adding the DP Pro would have taken away a lot of extra space in here. So I went with the Woodpecker's original drill press table, but I wanted the features of the DP Pro fence. 
So that's what we've done is we've married a DP Pro fence to an old Woodpecker's original drill press table, which by the way, we still sell. Also, I could have done this to any homemade drill press or pretty much anything that anybody else sells to. Now let me show you why I wanted that DP Pro fence on my table. My favorite feature of the DP Pro fence is the vacuum pickup. I love being able to drill large diameter holes and end up with four chips on the table. Couple more things I like about the DP Pro fence just in everyday use. One is the tall fence, the, the standard fence with the original drill press table is about uh, three quarters of an inch high. I like the big tall fence when I'm doing stuff on edge and I love the micro adjustable flip stops. Now, a minute ago, I showed you how to calibrate the fence scale, but we also have graduations on the tracks that are embedded in the table. I wanna show you how to set those up so they're just as accurate. Underneath the insert, there's a hole. And that hole is the exact center of the table. Now, if when you set your DP Pro or drill press table up, if you put that hole in the exact center of your drill press table, things will go a lot smoother and everything will line up well. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna calibrate the quill to that hole. And I'm gonna do that by putting a 3 8 inch diameter bit in the chuck and putting it into that hole. Now, the quill of the drill press is calibrated to the center of the table, which means that we can use the scales. So let's just set this for one and a half inches from the center of the bit to the fence. Set that an inch and a half on both sides. Now, I'm gonna put in a drill bit with a very fine point. Now we'll scrap a line on the material an inch and a half from the edge. And we'll bring the bit down and split the line right in two. Hey folks, thanks so much for watching our deep dive today and taking a look at Woodpecker's DP Pro system. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, be sure and give us a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you always know when our videos are coming out. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the DP Pro, we've done a couple other deep dives on it. There's a link to one right next door, and down below in the description, there's a link that'll take you straight to the ordering page. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Woodpecker's Deep Dive.